The Sunday will be two weeks since an eight-year-old girl was shot in the head near her home. Jada Page died at a hospital two days later. And tonight, the person who shot her still on the run. Those who love Jada are saying their final goodbyes. CBS 4's Carrie Codd joins us from Miami Gardens with more. Carrie? Elliot, it is always painful to say goodbye to a loved one, but when that loved one is a young child gunned down in a moment of extreme and senseless violence, that pain is increased immeasurably. Tonight, the family and friends of eight-year-old Jada Page are beginning that process of laying her to rest. Lori Hadley Davis is the director of this funeral home. She's used to burying the dead, but not when it's her grandniece, eight-year-old Jada Page. And I do this every day for a living. But when it hits your home, it's just a grief that's unbearable. I mean, I cried all night preparing her for this day. There have been lots of tears since someone shot Jada in late August. Police say the bullet that hit Jada in the head was likely meant for her father. The little girl who displayed such exuberance and joy died a few days later. At the funeral home, the hearse is covered in the emojis that Jada loved. So is the viewing area. The entire room is decorated in emojis. It is, it, it is really a celebration. Kimberly Wilson said Jada's family surrounded her every day with love and happiness. That's how when I walked in there today, what I saw, the love of Jada, um, how much she is loved and how even though she's not here physically, that love is going to carry on. Family members want to know who took this child from them. Police believe two men driving a Ford Fusion or a Ford Focus shot at this Jeep. One of those bullets hit Jada. For so many in this community, it's a devastating loss. It's sad, man. It's, I don't know what's wrong with these. It's not the world. It's the people in the world. They're not letting these kids, giving these kids a chance to live. Jada's family is demanding justice. They hope their pleas and the sweet, innocent smile of this little girl convinces someone with information about the killer or killers to speak up. We're just praying and hoping that someone will come forward and we could apprehend who did this violent crime to Jada. And you can see that hearse here in the parking lot with those emojis on it. I spoke with Miami-Dade police a short time ago. They told me they are still trying to find the people responsible for Jada's murder. There is a reward of $25,000 for information in this case. Live in Miami Gardens, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News. Kerry, thank you.